So typically our services include handing out harm reduction supplies. We will give people results for um, tests that they've had for reportable STBBI infections, facilitating appointments for people. We also do offer nursing visits for people who like have barriers to access healthcare in the in a regular way. When we do go to their home, uh, we usually assess the baby, you know, how the feeding is going, how mom's postpartum recovery is going, and how baby is doing in general. Depending on how their situation is, if, if it's an experienced mom, everything is going well, sometimes I'll only do maybe one home visit. But if, say, if they are having trouble with some breastfeeding issues or the baby's not gaining, you know, then we do a little bit more. I'm originally from uh, northern Manitoba. I'm, uh, I'm a Cree-speaking Indigenous woman. I'm still fluent in my language. Um, I, when I was about four years old, I ended up getting TB as a child. So that meant a lot of uh, hospital visits, hospital stays here in Winnipeg. If I was discharged from the hospital and say I had to have a follow-up appointment in a, a week or two weeks, instead of sending me home, they would just keep me in kind of like a foster home till my next appointment. And like, I didn't have my parents with me. I guess I remember the first time coming back from the hospital, I was speaking English. And then, and then my parents, because they were fluent, they just kept speaking to me in Cree again. So by the week, a week would go by and I'd be back speaking Cree again. My experience as a, um, as a, uh, a patient at HSC Children's was, was very positive. Um, so that's where I, I guess I just figured, okay, well, this is what I want to be. I have three children and 11 grandchildren. So once the kids were, I think my youngest daughter was three or four, I wanted to go back to university. I started off at just university taking art and then I applied to uh, Red River College and was able to get into the, at that time they had the, just the RN program. Some azithromycin and some suffixine. When I was a kid, I remember like I was a candy striper um, at the Grace Hospital when you actually had like the red and white little apron and like, um, and I would volunteer there. And I knew I always wanted to be in healthcare. I left home when I was 16. I was adopted and then I had a really hard time um, just kind of figuring things out. Um, a lot of people say, like, you don't know who you are unless you know where you came from. So that made me feel even more lost when I was trying to talk to other people who were Indigenous and who told me that I needed to find out where I was from. And so it was really hard because I didn't feel accepted in any kind of way. Yeah. So the nursing that I do is mostly harm reduction and working with people who use drugs. So I have a very long history of that in my life. Um, my best friend had um, completed suicide. My ex-husband, unfortunately, has a substance use problem ongoing for years, hidden from, from me for a long time. And then when it came out and like kind of my family was destroyed, I didn't know how to help. I ended up getting divorced and um, now I have two children that I have to take care of on my own. And I'm like, what am I going to do to raise these kids in a good way by myself? Um, and I realized that I had to go back to school. So it was really important to me to learn more about people who use drugs, why they use drugs, um, education as far as like trauma, generational trauma, um, how generational trauma affects your DNA, and even recreational use, like all the different reasons. Wipes, waters, ties, uh, sharps, disposals. I'm really inspired by the people that I've known and I've lost, and I go to work every day working hard in their memory. You just understand people better in a way because you actually you can't imagine being there. You've been there, you know, like try to put yourself in someone's shoes or you've been in those shoes. The population that we work with, is just really diverse. It's challenging, but it's, it's also fun. Like it's good. You know, we're 
you feel like you're really uh, contributing in and just really meeting people where they're at? I would say almost the majority of my clientele would be indigenous. If you have somebody that's kind of at least similar to you, you feel a little bit more relaxed and able to, you know, share a little bit more maybe, or just feel overall comfortable. Some people have very different circumstances than other people do. And I don't think people realize that. And I think that's part of understanding culture, understanding residential schools, understanding what happened to Indigenous people. So it was really important for me to understand all of that and to use that to um, work for my community um, as a nurse um, and to be there for people in whatever way they show up, you know?